Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Google Gemini, which is Google's AI chatbot equivalent to Microsoft Copilot, now has a sibling, where recently um, Google has announced the availability of Notebook LM, which up until this recent announcement was only available in the United States until now. So if we head over to Notebook LM, this is what it's all about. And apparently it's powered by Google's latest large language model, LLM, which is Gemini 1.5 Pro, as you may well know. And how this basically works in a nutshell is you can uh, give the notebook um, documents and then basically it helps you work with those documents, which can save time as you ask the notebook or the artificial intelligence um, questions about those said documents. Now, it's also available now to over 200 regions where previously as mentioned that was not the case it was only available in the United States and one of the key improvements uh, is the chatbot's um, ability to process various file types including Google slides web URLs Google Docs PDFs and text files and notebook LM can also analyze images charts and diagrams within documents which obviously provide citations when irrelevant. Now, just to go through, you know, just to skim over this, just to give you a general idea. First of all, it's experimental. So it's not a stable version as yet. So you can expect a couple of glitches. And uh, um, it says here in the small print right at the bottom, I don't know if you can see that properly in the video, it says, it may still sometimes give in inaccurate responses, so you may want to confirm any facts independently. If we head to the top uh, right here, we can change that to light mode or dark mode, depending on your personal choice. Yeah, you've got Discord, you've got um, a help page where you can go check out different troubleshooting and help if you want to find out a little bit more info regarding a um, notebook. And yeah, you can upload sources. So if we click on that, as mentioned, um, you can upload from Drive. You can upload a PDF, a text file, copy text. You can from a website, as mentioned. And I'm just going to head to a PDF. Let's use a sample PDF. And there we go. That'll take a second or two to upload. And there we go. So basically, um, you can generate frequently asked questions, a study guide from that PDF, a table of contents, a timeline, a briefing doc. Um, it gives you a summary. Uh, you, yeah, you've got suggested questions. So basically you would uh, type your question into the chat box here at the bottom. So I'm just going to use one of the suggested. And there we go. That'll take a second or two. What is the general tone and style of the writing? And there we go. It gives me my answer. And I think... Um, you know, if you're doing a lot of intense research, I think this may be a nice move in the right direction because Google has this to say about um, Notebook LM, and I'm quoting. They say, we've been amazed by the range of uses that people are finding for Notebook LM. Because the product was developed in close partnership with authors, students, and educators, they mentioned that they've seen many early adopters integrated into research and writing workflows, and they also mentioned that they've seen similar enthusiasm from documentary and podcast researchers who need to sift through complex archives to generate scripts or story ideas. So um, it may be handy if you're into that type of thing. And then if you head to the left-hand side, left hand side yeah, these are your sources that you've inputted. You can add a source. You can select all sources or you can toggle that off, obviously. And if you head to the three-dotted menu, you can rename that or you can remove source. And there we go. So that's the new Notebook LM, as mentioned, that's now available in over 200 regions where previously was only available uh, in the US. And just wanted to put it out there if, if this may be something that's handy. And as mentioned, Gemini now has a sibling, um, which is the new Notebook LM by Google. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.